Hello friends, my name is Steve. Today's book is You're Not Listening by Kate Murray. And it has to do with how we communicate with people, and basically how we receive information. And I first want out first want to start off by saying that uh, there's an interaction between two people. One person is talking, one person is listening. And the information is being coded and sent through to the other person who has to decode the information. And once the person decodes the information accurately, he's able to now get the message. Now, in between that process is a cloud. And that cloud is basic noise. And being able to perceive the the information, being able to decode that information properly, determines how well you receive the information, as, you, as, as obvious as that is. But we have this thing called cognitive complexity, which means uh, it has to do with how well we perceive and analyze things. And so when you decode the information, um, are you, do you think you're, uh, can you trust your intuition that you understand what that person is saying? And a lot of times, the message is actually more complex than we think it is, and we don't end up analyzing and properly perceiving the message. And here are some reasons why. Uh, we tend to believe that we know the person well enough that we understand what they're trying to say, so we assume we understand their message. And that's also something very critical. Um, and also you think that you understand what they're saying because you know the person very well, it's the opposite way. You, you, you tend to know the person so you understand the message or you understand what that person's always trying to say but you don't know the person. So there's two different sides of it. We have to ask good questions to overcome this problem. Clarify what you heard. Be always curious with what you're listening, uh, with the information that's coming. Ask lots of good questions. And uh, turning off the noise inside of you while listening turning off the noise outside, focus, make eye contact, and don't be obsessed with what you want to say next. Those are some basic things. Now, I want to introduce you to this idea called support response and shift response. Support response is when someone is saying something like, I had a dream last night, and you say, oh, what was the dream about? You start to ask questions. A shift response would be something like, I had a dream last night, and you go, me too, I had a dream last night. You shift from the person being the, the, the narrator of the topic to you, and it's all about you now. And we tend to do that a lot. And that really destroys our relationships and the quality of the relationships because people really just want to be heard and understood. And you do too. So when you communicate, you have to learn how to let the other person have the subject position and let them share what they want to say. So this is what we call, this is the book, uh, You're Not Listening by Kate Murphy. Simple principles from this book, but I really enjoyed it. It helped me to see how, when I respond to my wife, am I shifting the response or am I supporting her response uh, with a good response? Thanks. Have a good day.